Capernaum, on the banks of Lake Galilee. According to the Gospel of Mark, in the synagogue, a man asks Jesus to cure his withered hand. Jesus tells him to stretch out his hand and he's healed. But this is the Sabbath, and working on the Sabbath is prohibited. The fact that Jesus heals the man with the withered hand on the Sabbath in the synagogue suggests that he's just going to do what he wants. It's an action that brings Jesus into conflict with the Jewish priesthood. Now his reputation precedes him wherever he goes. The number of his followers increases. The crowds he attracts bring him to the attention of the Roman authorities. When Jesus is active in Galilee, those areas were under Roman occupation. You could believe whatever you wanted to believe in the Roman Empire. You could practice your religion in whatever way you chose to practice your religion. But what the Romans didn't like is one charismatic figure, especially one who was messianic. Fearing for Jesus' safety, James and his family come to Capernaum. I think it would be terribly frightening to have a member of your family get involved in that kind of religious environment, potentially leading up to violence. The family have heard these reports that Jesus is preaching and, and casting demons out, and they think, has he gone mad? We're here to see Jesus and his brother, his mother is here. <laughs> A few weeks later, Jesus enters Jerusalem. Hundreds of thousands line the streets. According to the Gospels, he's later arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane. And the following day is tortured and executed. Jesus' family have failed to save him. An apocryphal gospel not found in the New Testament tells us about James. The gospel of the Hebrews portrays uh, James as being in Jerusalem in the immediate aftermath of the crucifixion. James has probably found the whole business of Jesus being crucified about as traumatic, about as life-changing as you can imagine. He goes into a period of fasting and mourning, something that no one else of Jesus' followers did 